Penis Dickerson says, we love drunk and sober Nick, but we hope Nick doesn't drink too much. Guys, this is, this is the, this quintessentially internet. There's so many people who drink so much more than I do every night. And they're fine. Like I'm, I'm not saying I'm fine because other people are fine. I'm saying I'm fine because my liver numbers are fine. My function is fine. Everything's great. If it ever changes, will I quit liquor? Yeah, in a heartbeat. I don't, I don't fucking care. I don't have a physically addictive personality. Do I like liquor? Of course. Of course I do. Our light redux says, Nick is in control of his drinking, guys. Literally, yeah. It's, it's a weird thing to see and say. But you cannot defend against an accusation of addiction. You can't. Everything you say sounds like a... Well, I drank some water, so I'm a kid. I'm fine. He's definitely not addicted to porn. Dude, why would you say that? I've been addicted to porn since I was probably 15. I'm working on not being addicted to porn, but it's an ongoing struggle. Why would you? I've never represented otherwise. This is weird. Here's the deal with uh, with the liquor. Every time the liquor like affects my show, affects my life, I go, okay. You probably need to reassess a little bit. Have I reassessed hard enough? No. No. It's great. But the great thing is, it's also the substance that probably won't murder you unless you drive on it. And I don't tend to do that. So I have some time to fix it. And in the meanwhile, it generates a lot of buzz because some people are really pissed about it, which is funny to me. But the ultimate thing is this. Can I get home without getting arrested? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, like, I don't have to go anywhere to sleep or anything like that. Just wake up, wake my kid up and say, hey, get some fuck clothes on, let's go. Normally. Tomorrow I don't have shit. But that's normally. So you go with that. It's fine. It's a good uh, outfit. But you, everything you do doesn't have to be this major purchase, this major thing. Oh my God, is the alcoholic now? Probably. Personally, though, I've dealt with some addiction. I've dealt with some shit. And I've drank whiskey a long time. I could walk away from whiskey tomorrow and not care. Um, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I have no reason to do that. But it's great. If Lady Raggins looked at me and said, please stop drinking right now, of course I would. And if you wouldn't, why are you with that person? But if Lady Raggins looked at me and said, please stop drinking, I'd stop in a heartbeat. I don't care. Like it's, it's a fun thing. I like the taste. I like all the character of it. I like all the things about liquor. But I do I need it? I don't think so. I don't generally have a physically addictive personality. Some people will disagree with that, and that's fine. Like I, I may be physically addicted to liquor. I'm not opposed to the proposition. Why would I be? You're so drunk. Like maybe, maybe even probably. I don't know. But in the meanwhile, if you ask me to quit something, I'll just quit it. I'll quit fucking drinking. I'll quit dancing. I'll quit uh, jerking off to James O'Keefe's face or whatever. I don't care what it is. I'll quit playing uh, fucking. I'll quit playing uh, Southern Redneck Tyler Beer Loops on Rants. Stop doing them. All for you. So I wipe up my bloody vagina for you. It's this weird place. People make up their minds on what you're doing. But the real thing is what you do is up to you. But long story short, you, you want to ha like have a question for Ty? Ty and I will answer that a million times. Ty's not here. He'll be here tomorrow. You have a question for us? We'll answer it a million times. Absolutely. Send it. It's not offensive. If the question is, how on earth will you survive as an alcoholic? I'll go, I won't. I'll either fix it or I'll die. That'll be fine too. 
It's such a silly thing. Like, I don't... Guys, you... do you think? I have no idea what I look like. Of course I do. The next question you have to ask is, does that hurt or help me? And that's what you have to do with every... This is the ultimate conclusion of the story, which is ex it's exclusive of me. This is what you have to do on every fucking internet persona because you get attached to a front they put up. I never tried to put up a front. I get, Maybe I accidentally did. I don't know. They get attached to a front, and the front can't go into a certain space. They can't do a certain thing. They can't gain an advantage. Why? Why is that a thing? I don't know, but it is. And then you're stuck with kids who are fucking mad all the time. Why are they mad? They didn't win. Astrid says people just have a problem with alcohol. They don't. They don't have a problem with alcohol. They have a problem with creators. Our light redex says I'm not even drunk. No, I'm drunk. It's great. Can you not operate somewhat competently while drunk? What are you, fucking junior high girl? What are you talking about? Of course I'm drunk. I wanted to be drunk. It's great. That, that's the whole point. Anyway, some people can't function while drunk. No, I'm functioning exactly in the way I want to. Too drunk, my dude? I'm not even close to too drunk. I'm just in the comfortable version of junk. Nate's not even slurring his words, so stop with the accusations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Regeneric, Renegeric says, and leave Nick the fuck be. He obviously ain't a drink. It's obvious you don't understand alcoholism if you think Nick is one. You don't have to apologize for me. Guys, I've been way more drunk. Don't focus on the alcoholism. I've been way more drunk than this in funnier ways. Um, recently, it's fine. It's great. It's a silly thing you do. You have some release. You have some fun. Thistle says, Nick is going to look back at this stream and have the proof he's not even close to being drunk. Exactly. Exactly. This is silly. It's uh, such a silly... This is my favorite part of the internet. You can never... If the internet says you're addicted to X, there's nothing you can say to fix it. You cannot fix it. You do. Oh, my man likes heroin. You're like, I've never done heroin in my life. That's what an addict would say. Holy shit. That is what an addict would say. God damn. How do you fix that? How do you respond to the accusations that you've done the worst thing? You're like, well, I wouldn't do that. And they're like, that's exactly what someone who did it would say. I literally don't know. Guys, you can trust. I don't know what fentanyl tastes like. I don't know what hydrocortone tastes like. I don't know what oxycortone tastes like. I hate opioids. I had two knee surgeries. All I did, I took one Percocet, I think it was. Everything else was literally max strength Tylenol, max strength uh, ubuprofen. I don't give a shit about this stuff. I, I don't care. But if you looked at me prior to pulling my knee up to my chest and licking it like it's so hot, uh, you would go like, fuck, this man looks like he's in pain, right? It's it's funny. Arclight says first step is admitting you have a problem. I'll never reach the first step. Who the fuck cares? Why do you guys why do you guys do a thing where like oh, I really care about what this other person does? You don't need to. We're all good. As an eleven year hydro Super alky. You aren't an alcoholic. Love and thank you, Beth. Best wishes. Well, let me try harder then. Richard. That means you have to kill your drink. <laughs> it, it's such a weird thing because, like, I know how much I drink. Like, I the, the show is it's a persona to an extent, right? Like, people are like, oh, you don't know what you're doing. It's like, no, I know. 
like I do this. I'm hammered to this point. But they assume you're not. You have no idea. Let's just change that. There you go. 